Hello, Assalamualaikum. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I would like to share uh, my experience uh, in developing an urban uh, traffic management system in Bangi. Uh, we have installed the system now for, uh, I think, the first traffic light we installed in 2002, 2002, so about 11 years ago. And the uh, complete system about uh, uh, yeah, four years ago uh, uh, we have ins we installed in, in Bangi and until now uh, the system is working uh, very well uh, hopefully it will work until uh, a few years more uh, so uh, basically our system something like this we have uh, microprocessor for every uh, traffic light and we have a smart camera uh, actually this is a normal camera digital camera so this microprocessor will carry out or perform uh, image processing to count the traffic uh, volume and also to detect accident and to measure queue length and based on that uh, parameters the uh, microprocessor will optimize uh, the traffic flow and we have a wireless communication system and also this uh, smart camera to detect uh, incident or accident and, and other system as shown in these uh, pictures hmm. uh, uh, architect, the architect, this physical architecture of the system uh, something like this, we have uh, uh, wireless a fixed uh, point to fixed point communication system and also we have wireless mobile communication system uh, this this one for the uh, traffic light and public uh, transport information system and of course this uh, CCTV uh, to observe the traffic uh, uh, to detect uh, incident uh, and in the control room uh, we have something like this we have a few system urban traffic control traffic surveillance system uh, traffic incident detection system a traffic expert system, public transport information system and so on and here uh, all the data actually can be uh, actually can be uh, accessed eh, by by uh, the tra by travelers hmm? uh, uh, if you look into uh, yeah this one actually our complete system but only this one we have developed now uh, the uh, traffic light with the uh, smart camera uh, detector and smart camera to detect incident and accident and this is the system in our control uh, center uh, for the uh, uh, traffic light system uh, we use fully distributed system uh, we borrow uh, archi the architecture from Yagar Yagar where from his publication in 1996 uh, this is actually fully distributed uh, the traffic light will coordinate will coordinate, coordinate uh, its action with the neighbors and so on these neighbors also will coordinate uh, coordinate uh, its action with the neighbors and so on uh, this one also will coordinate uh, uh, its action with the neighbors uh, and because of that uh, the whole city, uh, the whole network will be coordinated uh, to optimize uh, the uh, traffic flow. Uh, and for the surveillance system, we use this existing CCTV, uh, but we, of course, now the system something like this: uh, the CCTV camera, and to the control center, uh, where uh, the managers can watch uh, or can observe uh, the traffic situation. Uh, what what we have done, uh, we add microprocessor to the existing uh, uh, surveillance system, uh, carried out image processing, uh, and uh, count the traffic volume, get the speed, uh, uh, and uh, classify uh, the traffic. Hmm? Uh, this is one. This is an example how we count the traffic. We just observe a few pixel. Uh, in the uh, video image uh, this is an example of the pixel intensity if no vehicle on the road uh, this is difficult the uh, uh, pixel intensity for uh, this area 
but once a bright car passing through uh, this area uh, the intensity will go up uh, if a dark car or dark vehicle passing through uh, we, we will observe uh, we will observe uh, this one uh, the uh, intensity become lower so we can write a program to count the search of the uh, uh, pixel intensity and for the uh, incident detection also the same thing uh, we just observe a few uh, uh, pixel uh, along along this line or along this line or if even in the middle so if there is a signal different from the uh, uh, normal and it is there for a few minutes and then we can say uh, there, there, there is uh, uh, incident, incident and for speed measurement we detect the front edge of a car in one frame and then uh, we detect again uh, a few frame later uh, so in this case uh, the interval is uh, 0 0.05 that means about 5 frames uh, apart because in one second we have 25 frames so this one about uh, 5 uh, yeah 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 about 5 frames eh? uh, uh, apart so we detect the first here and the first and then here uh, so the interval is 0 0.25 second and the distance measured is 5.9 uh, meters so we, if we calculate the speed the speed is uh, 85 km per hour and uh, uh, for the uh, logical architecture yeah, something like this uh, we have function 1 function 2 uh, and the terminator and of course the software uh, uh, we, we, we use open eh, open open software system uh, and the physical architecture we use fixed to point uh, fixed to fi fixed point wireless communication system because it is much cheaper to use uh, wireless communication compared as compared to uh, uh, telecom eh, existing telecom line uh, this is uh, when when we we come into the picture uh, before that all the uh, CCTV camera uh, belong to city hall or or, or the local government uh, connected using uh, fiber optic cable to the uh, control center which is very very expensive and we could not afford uh, to do this kind of architecture so uh, we use wireless communication system which is uh, very cheap uh, and we don't have to pay monthly or yearly subscription we just install and then we can use uh, forever uh, and we use TCP IP something like wireless uh, wireless uh, Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi so the whole uh, Bangi the whole town of Bangi become our wireless uh, system of course we put fire wall so you cannot enter or cannot penetrate uh, our system so far nobody can penetrate our system uh, Basically, we have a uh, communication system and a camera in our traffic light. Uh, and that's all. Uh, uh, thank you uh, uh, very much.